next discussion is to uh, derive the formula for the minimum rate of descent. Minimum rate of uh, descent. So this is uh, still under uh, unpowered flight or glide. Okay, do not for forget that we are still investigating the case for unpowered flight. Unpowered flight. Okay, so what is our formula for rate of descent? So the formula there is you have the square root of W over S, that is your wing loading, times 2 over rho, and then you have 1 over CL cubed over CD squared, no? multiplied by cosine cubed gamma, that is all under a square root. Now, to solve for the minimum rate of descent, no? using a simple logic, if you want to get a minimum rate of descent, then your wing loading, this is my wing loading, the wing loading of the uh, glider should be minimum, okay? And your CL over CD, CL, CL cube over CD squared should also be uh, maximum, okay? So this, is, uh, this should be minimum, this is minimum. But your CL cube over CD squared should be maximum, okay? Because it's uh, uh, the ratio of 1 over. So since it is in the denominator, if we want to get the minimum rate of descent, then therefore this should be maximum. Now, if your uh, gamma is already minimum, remember in the first uh, video, we have. Uh, solve for the uh, maximum CL over CD max, which in turn, if you have your CL over CD max, you will uh, also obtain the minimum glide path angle. So if this is minimum, then therefore, cosine cube gamma bar will almost be equal to, ma to 1, okay, if your gamma bar is minimum, okay. So the final formula now for the rate of descent, for the minimum rate of descent, is equal to W over S, 2 over rho. So this, is, this should be minimum, but uh, if we cannot fix this, then aerodynamically, we can do something about your CL cube over CD squared. CL cube over CD squared. And this should be maximum. And since uh, this is almost equal to 1, so it is already uh, umbaga, it is already neglected because you're simply multiplying to 1. Okay? So the question now is, similar to what I have asked, how will we mathematically solve CL cube over CD squared maximum? No? Again, we will apply our uh, drag polar or polar drag equation, which is CD is equal to CL squared. Okay, not CL, uh, CD sub O muna. CD sub O plus CL squared over pi AE. Okay, so similar to what we did with the previous video. We have, we first get the ratio, CL uh, cube over CD squared, okay? So what is that ratio? So CL uh, cube and then CD squared, so this will be CD sub O plus CL squared over pi AE squared, okay? Quantity squared. And then, we will, uh, from this, no, we will get the first derivative and set it to zero. Now, we will get the first derivative with respect to CL because C sub L is your independent variable. So, let's go ahead and get the derivative with respect to C sub L of CL cube over CD sub O plus CL squared over pi AE. 
So, medyo mahaba tong derivation na to guys. So, sana hindi kayo makatulog. So, and then after getting the derivative, of course, we will uh, equate it to zero. So, get the derivative. Again, we will use the formula for the derivative of a uh, quotient. So, we have CD, CD sub O plus CL squared over pi AE. We will try to make it as uh, simple as possible. Squared and then get the derivative of the numerator. BC sub L squared minus CL cubed times the derivative of my denominator. So 2 times CD sub O plus CL squared over pi AE. Then this would be raised to 1. Then what is the derivative of uh, CD sub O plus C, uh, CL squared over pi AE? So, CD sub O is constant, so that is 0. And then this one, we have already solved this uh, in the previous video. And that is 2CL over pi AE because pi AE is constant. So, derivative of CL squared is 2CL. And then in the denominator, we have CD sub O plus CL squared over pi AE. Then this will be raised to the fourth is equal to 0. So again, we can uh, multiply the denominator to 0 so that we could simplify. So there's no more denominator in the next step. And then here, what we can see is we can factor out CD sub O plus CL squared uh, over pi AE. So let's go ahead and do that. We factor out CD sub O plus CL squared over pi AE. So, we will still have CD sub O here because this is raised to 2 plus CL squared over pi AE and then times 3 CL squared. Then here we have, uh, we'll have, we'll have 2 times 2 that is 4, 4 CL to the 4th over pi AE. Okay? So this term is uh, factored out. So let's uh, distribute C B sub O. Uh, write lang mo na to class. I'm gonna write ko lang. And then here, this is sabi ko. It's uh, we will distribute this term to this one. So we will have C D sub O, three C D sub O C L squared plus 3Cl to the 4th over pi AE minus 4Cl to the 4th over pi AE those quantity is equal to 0. Now, if I may, if you will examine the uh, equation now here, I can uh, go ahead and multiply the whole equation by 1 over this term, no? Cd sub O so just let's just make it CD because that is uh, also CD. So that so that if I multiply CD, then this is cancelled. Now you can ask, sir, bakit hindi ito yung multiply, no? So the re the only reason is if this will be cancelled instead of this one, then we'll have CD sub O plus that is very important plus CL squared over pi A is equal to zero, and therefore we will solve for C sub L. We'll have the negative square root of uh, CDO times pi AE. I hope you can get that. No? So that's not mathematically, uh, that's already mathematically incorrect. Okay? So it's not an imaginary number. So therefore, we multiply 1 over CD and therefore we can cancel this one. Okay? So we have this one and if we simplify that, we have 3 CD sub O C L squared and then we can uh, subtract the 2. So let's write it down. 3 CD sub O C L squared. Huh? And then th we will have minus C L to the 4th. C L to the 4th over pi A E. Pi A E is equal to 0. Okay? Pwede pa tayo dito class mag-factor uh, out ng CL squared. So, we will be left 
with 3 CD sub O minus CL squared over pi AE is equal to 0. So again, to simplify, we will multiply CL squared. Canceling CL squared. And we will uh, have now 3 CDO is equal to CL squared over pi AE. So first we will solve for, uh, no, let's uh, solve for CL squared. CL squared is equal to, that's CD sub O, okay. CL squared is equal to 3 pi AE CD sub O and therefore CL is equal to the square root of 3 pi AE CD sub O, okay. So how about, so we have now uh, an equivalent for C sub L. How about our C sub D? So C sub D is equal to C D sub O plus C L squared over pi A E. So C D sub O plus, substituting this one, we have 3 pi A E over C D sub O over pi A E. So cancel plus yung pi A E. You will have 3 CD sub O plus CD sub O. Therefore, CD is equal to 4 CD sub O. So, remember these two formulas. Because from that, okay, we, will, we can now get the maximum. We can now get the maximum ratio for CL, uh, CL cube over CD squared. Yun yung gusto natin malaman. And uh, we want to solve this again because we want to get the final formula for uh, the rate of descent minimum or the minimum rate of descent. So, let's uh, continue with our solution. CL, we have uh, CL cube, no? CL is equal to the square root of 3 pi AECD sub O. Square root of 3 pi AE CD sub O, and we will uh, cube that, and then CD squared. So this is 4 CD sub O squared. So if we will uh, put it into one square root, no, we will have first we'll have uh, 1 over 16, 1 over 16, and then the square root of we have 3 pi AE CD sub O cube over CD sub O. This would be to the fourth. Okay. So what we can uh, simplify there is your pi, 3 pi AE since it is cube. Then 1 3 pi AE would be uh, out of the square root. And then another set would be left, 3 pi AE. But then your CD sub O will uh, be cancelled in the numerator. So that would now be, let me just uh, correct this one. Okay. So inside your square root, you still have over, oops. 3 pi AE CD sub O okay. sorry, wala na yung CD sub O all over CD sub O and then this would be all over 16 so let me just uh, group it better 3 pi AE over 16 times the square root of 3 pi AE over CD sub O so that is your CL cube over CD squared maximum. Okay. The last formula that uh, we will discuss today is uh, the minimum airspeed. Okay. Minimum airspeed. Minimum 
your speed or that is uh, sometimes referred to as your stalling speed okay or of course unpowered flight so in the previous uh, video again so we have v is equal to the square root of w over s 2 over rho and then 1 over cl times cosine gamma bar okay so if we want to get again the minimum airspeed then of course your w over s should be minimum times 2 over rho that should be minimum and of course your cl should be maximum cl max is maximum now again because this is uh, cosine that one is cosine gamma bar and if your gamma bar is minimum then cosine gamma bar will almost be equal to 1 okay so we don't uh, write it here anymore because it's almost equal to 1 it is already negligible no if we multiply 1 here you will still uh, obtain the same uh, formula okay so for cl max there's no there's no formula anymore for that but to get the uh, cl max of let's say an air an airfoil you would have to uh, refer to the uh, graph for that particular airfoil which is uh, the graph between CL and your angle of attack. So the graph would uh, oftentimes look like this. Okay. And the highest point, the highest point here, you would have to read from the graph. Okay. So how to find CL max? You look for the uh, airfoil performance uh, chart and then Look for the graph between CL and uh, alpha and determine what is your CL max, okay, by reading from the graph. So that is your CL max. So there's no uh, mathematical way to do that, but just by simply uh, researching what is the CL max. In problems, uh, in uh, board exam problems or uh, in exam problems, CL max uh, is uh, usually given.